saved by Evan. Hey, how we doing, Kurt? And uh, we're going to be going over the Spanish uh, GP. We might actually be doing one before the actual GP happens, so uh, that's always nice. Uh, tomorrow is the Spanish Grand Prix. Evan, did you get a chance to watch qualifying? I did. I watched it. Uh, I actually watched it twice because the first time I really wasn't paying attention. So I had to go back, rewatch it, but uh, it was pretty cool. I was watching uh, pretty close times up there. So. Yeah, uh, we'll go over that in just a little bit. But before we get into uh, the next race, let's go over uh, Imola. Uh, the port um, I don't know why it says Imola. It's supposed to be Portugal, but um, obviously I didn't change that. Um, Lewis Hamilton winning the race. Verstappen second. Botas third. Perez fourth. Norris fifth. Leclerc sixth. Akon seventh. Alonso eighth. Ricardo ninth. And Gasly tenth. Uh, top ten from the Portugal Grand Prix. Evan, what did you think of the Grand Prix? Um, it was a it was a good opportunity to see uh you know what Max Verstappen has to you know go up against Lewis Hamilton, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, and then you also saw the different strategies between you know Mercedes and Red Bull, so that was a lot of fun to watch. Uh, Danny Ricardo, I I believe he was like 16th on the grid at the start, came up to ninth, so that was cool to watch. And then also both Alpines in the top 10. That's a uh, I think that's new this year, so. Yeah, it was nice a lot to of see Alpine to get some points and, you know, really push the race. Fernando Alonso did a great job, I think, uh, showed that he still, you know, has it in him to race. And, you know, this car, you know, it's not going to be a winner, but he did a great job. Uh, I also liked seeing uh, Leclerc sixth, uh, that Ferrari, did a, he did a great job with the Ferrari in this race. Yeah. Uh, McLaren, uh Again, two racers in the top 10. Uh, I think I saw today they're the only team with two racers in the top 10 every race this year, uh, which, which is uh, pretty amazing. And uh, like oh, yeah, because uh, Botas dropped out of the one race and so did Sergio Perez, right? Or at least he, he finished pretty late. Wow. Yeah, you got stuck I didn't even see yeah. that before. That's pretty cool. Good to hear. No, it's good to see McLaren um, you know, pushing them. Um, and we'll see later in, with the points, but uh, also see good to see Alpha Tori, uh, Gasly getting some points here, or getting a point here. Um, and then a uh, great race. I think Hamilton did a great job. He fended off uh, any attack Verstappen had, overtook him. Um, I, I really think Verstappen should have gotten the fastest lap. Uh, I didn't think he was that far off where they should have penalized him and taken that lap away. Um, so that kind of stunk. That, that did stink. Uh, I mean, we see that we saw this earlier. Like I, I talk about it with the first race, how you know everyone was going wide at. I think it was like turn four, and then all of a sudden it was like, oh, now you can't do it. It, it seemed like the same thing happened in this race, where FIA was a little inconsistent with uh, you know track regulations or whatever. But yeah, it, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I would. It would have been awesome to see Max take away at least that one point from uh, Mercedes. And it definitely would have made things uh, more interesting going forward here with the um, with the constructors championships. And uh, we'll get to that now. Um, the driver standings as of right now: uh, number one, Lewis Hamilton on top with 69 points. Number two, Verstappen with 61 points. Uh, third, Lando Norris with the McLaren, 37 points. Uh, four, Botas with 32 points. Leclerc in the Ferrari, 20 um, in fifth with 28 points, six. Sergio Perez with the Red Bull, 22 points, seventh. We have Ricardo in the McLaren, uh, eight. Signs in the Ferrari, uh, nine. Akan with eight points in the Alpine, ten. Gasly, AlphaTauri with seven points, eleven. Uh, Lance Stroll in the Aston Martin with five points, twelve. Alonso in the Alpine with five points. Uh, Yuki. Number 13, uh, in 13th place in the AlphaTauri with two points. And then uh, all the rest of the racers all have zero points. No points yet um, from the rest of the drivers. So what do you think of the standings here, Evan? Um, you know, it's so weird to see Sebastian Vettel down in 17th with zero points. That's, uh, that's what's really catching my eye at this moment. I mean, seeing him at the bottom is just uh, abnormal to see, you know. Um, and then... Uh, I like to see like the close battle we have between 
from like third place down to even eighth place with uh signs. I know it's probably you know Lando has probably twi- over twice as many points as Steins or signs, it, but you know there's a good battle going on there. You know, battle for third, battle for six. You know, it, there's a lot of opportunity coming forward with a lot of different teams and a lot of different racers, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's definitely great to see someone different in the third place. It's, it's not Mercedes, it's not Red Bull, it's McLaren. And, um, you know, the Mercedes and Red Bull not too far behind, but you also have Ferrari right there too. Uh, so Battle for Third is going to be really, really good this year. And, and Carlos Sainz, I mean, he he kind of got gypped out of points. I mean, he had a bad strategy with... Uh taking the mediums pretty early last race so he had like no tire tread going into the final few laps so he dropped a bunch of places i think he was like sixth and he just slowly dropped after the last few laps so i mean wait to see him kind of push a little bit more um and i bet you red bull is really happy with norris taking splitting up those uh, mercedes a little bit more you know trying to create a little bit more room for the constructors championship Yes, it's definitely nice to see that. And, I mean, one thing the top five guys all have in common is they're all on the same team as they were last year. Uh, six, seven, eight, they're all on new teams. And, you know, that it takes a little while to get used to those new cars. And I think as we go on, there's a lot of races left. And we're going to see a lot more battles as they get more used to those cars. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of season left. I mean, this is race uh, four going into Spain. So, I mean, we got a whole nother three quarters of the season to go. So you, there's definitely going to be a lot of changes coming here, uh, especially in the next uh, few races for sure. Yeah. So we'll go on to the constructors championships here. Uh, standings. Uh, obviously number one is going to be Mercedes with 101. Uh, number two, Red Bull 83. Uh, number three, McLaren with 53. Number four, Ferrari with 42. Number five, Alpine with 13. Number six, uh, Alfa Torre with nine. Seven Aston Martin with five, and then eight, nine, ten are all interchangeable. You got Alfa Romero, Williams, and Haas all with zero points. Man, what a what a jump between four and five right now. I mean, yeah. forty two points to thirteen points. That's a that's such a significant jump. I mean, it just shows you how often those top four teams are you know putting on points you know every race. Yes, and uh, I think. Um, the top, you know, one and two battle ain't going to be really great, but three, four, uh, three and four, uh, we're going to have a real battle. I think Alpine, if they keep this trend of getting better each race, they may be uh, in for a little battle. Alpha Tori, they have a little bit of issues, um, but McLaren is doing great. A big change, and you know, Ferrari's making sure that they can't make any mistakes. And uh, Signs, once he gets used to that car and used to racing for Ferrari, I, I think. We're going to have a really great battle there. Oh, for sure. And uh, I mean, taking Ricardo into McL- uh, McLaren, I mean, he's going to have to figure out that car for the next few races. I, I think he's going to, he's dialing it in a little bit more. Definitely looks um, like it, yeah. And, and yeah, and same thing with signs. I mean, he's got to dial it in. And obviously the other two young, young guys are, you know, just keep pushing a little bit harder and harder. So yeah, you're going to see a sweet, battle between mclaren and ferrari coming into uh the constructor championships as we move along the season yeah and uh, last race um you know in qualifying Kimi raikkonen looked pretty good uh in the off romero i really thought he may get some points last race uh but that wasn't going to happen after the first lap he you know he, he crashed was out of the race but he looked like he was doing pretty good so did giovanasi uh, and the Williams, I think they've had a, a, some bad luck too. So it'll be interesting to see if any of those guys can get any points. And obviously Haas, I don't think anyone's expecting them to get any points yet uh, this season. Actually, for Haas, I, I would ask another question, Kurt. Yeah. How how many races does Mazepin not do something that the FIA will look at? I don't know. Uh, well, let's get to qualifying now here uh, for the Spanish GP. Uh, Lewis Hamilton qualified with 100th. Pole position, Lewis Hamilton. Uh, That's in the Mercedes. unbelievable. It's an, that is an incredible thing. He earned it. He, he was flying. Uh, he even made mistakes and still fastest lap. Uh, for yeah. Go ahead. I can't. I, no, it's just unbelievable. A hundred. I mean, the next person's at sixty-eight with Michael Schumacher. I mean, just how many times is this guy gonna rip tracks and just put up consistent pole positions? Uh, it's it's just unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, and I don't. Uh, if Verstappen wasn't right behind him, pushing him, you know. How fun could it be for Lewis Hamilton? I think he likes the challenge. 
Um, and he's been challenged a lot in this, his career. In the last you know two years, he wasn't really challenged, but he's getting challenged this year. Oh, 100%. And, uh, you know, any good competitor definitely tries harder and does their best work when they have someone that's right behind them. So, it's, yeah, he definitely seems like he's having a lot more fun this year uh, than Absolutely. he has had in the past few years. Um, and again, Verstappen, uh, second place, uh, three, thou- three hundredths behind Hamilton, right behind him. Uh, Botas in third, fourth is going to be Leclerc, five is Akon, six is Sainz, seven, Ricardo, eight, Perez, nine, Norris, and 10, uh, Alonso. Uh, so you look at these um, top 10 uh, Q3, there's no Aston Martin, there's no Alpha Tori. Uh, you got f- all five of the same team. What do you think about that? And also two Alpine. That's that's pretty awesome. And, and Ocon up there in fifth place, That like that's awesome to see, especially the young guy coming in, uh, working with the, the older you know veteran. That's pretty cool. Norris being down in ninth, that's, I, you know, he's been up in the, you know, top five, you know, consistently this year. Um, Yeah, I mean, it, it's all, it's five same teams. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, and I think it kind of shows we're going to have a real battle here for third and fourth place. And they're going to keep pushing each other. They're all running really well. They're not far off. A, a second and a half, less than a second and a half between, you know, the top ten um yeah, they're all right on pace, and they were all right on pace. Lewis Hamilton just had a great lap. He's in a great car, and he knows what he's doing. He, he's he's got the qualifications. Um, another thing is, uh, none of them are you know stacked on one another. It's not like double Mercedes front line, you know. They're, yes. It, each it's a different uh car as you go down the line every time. It's pretty cool. Yeah, lights out tomorrow is going to be incredible. Um, you're going to see guys fighting right off from the start. It's going to be a really great race for Stappen and Hamilton starting off right next to each other. Can Botas find his way in there? And then you got the Ferrari in fourth place. You know, what's he going to do? What, what's he going to do? Is he going to slow down Perez? Uh, he's going to keep the McLarens behind him. It's, it's going to be a great, great race. First couple laps, I think are going to be great. Um, as you yeah, brought, absolutely. as you brought up before, Mazepin causing trouble again, you know, it wasn't <laughs> nearly as big this year, this time, but you know, he kind of got in Norris's way during qualifying. He's causing problems during practice. Everyone's complaining about him. Even Claire, who's Leclerc said, uh, Mazepin's at it again. Um, <laughs> I've been complaining I, I, all season, even before the races started. I, he's not a good driver. It's scary when he's out there. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's going to get someone hurt. I mean, how long until he gets his like super uh, super laces revoked? I mean, I I don't know uh, how long he's gonna survive in this sport. I mean, it it was so bad. He almost got Norris knocked out of Q1 because yeah. of that. Luckily, Norris had an extra lap and he put up a 117, which was faster than his final final result. But I mean, th- I could believe that when I saw that. I mean, you see all the cars stacked up on one another. But everyone else got out of the way. And he's just like, why are you guys stopping? Why are yeah. you guys stopping? I, I'm so much faster than you guys. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what are you doing, dude? Yeah. Get out of the way. Someone or, Someone's doing a hot lap. And they've got to try to do a lot better than your car will ever do. Right. Uh, you got a bad car. So you got a bad driver. It's it's not a good situation. Um, and I'm sure you know Haas is fighting for him to stay in there because I'm sure their contract relies on him racing. But, um, you know, the F1's got to do what's best for F1 and make sure that people are safe. Yeah, absolutely. No, and that's that's what it's up to the FIA and, uh, you know, all the safety regulations, why they have rules and why you do, you know, follow certain protocol. There's there's re- there's reason for these things. And it's not just uh, so people can put their fastest lap in, which is definitely, you know, one of the things. But the other part is safety. Like, you, what if it was a blind corner? And all of a sudden, you know, Norris is coming around and all of a sudden rear ends him. I mean, it, yeah. it's just causing issues. It's a safety problem. Especially, you know, Portugal and Spain. Those There's a lot of blind turns in Portugal and Spain. Really fast blind turns. For uh, sure. Especially in Portugal. When you're coming over these massive hills down down off Canberra and you're all of a sudden there's a car there, I'd be scared. Yeah, me too. I mean, this is why they're professionals. But, you know, Mazepin, he doesn't seem like a professional. He seems like an amateur and he's going to get someone hurt. Yeah, and I don't know. Let's see if it this this should be a bet. Uh, does he survive the season? I 
does it, does he get his he license does. revoked? I, th I think Daddy's money keeps him in the race. Uh, I think he would yeah, have been but, gone by now if it wasn't for the money. But Haas isn't the one that gives him his license. He they're the one that puts him in a car. I mean, if they suspend his license, he can't race. Yeah, but I think yeah, I'm sure the contract for Haas says that. Mazepin needs to be in a car in order for them to receive their money <laughs> and they're going to fight for whatever they can, you know, until he actually gets someone hurt, they're going to let him race. I know. You know, uh, it's like, uh, when you're coaching like, like little kids and you have that, like that over, uh, over talking parent, put my kid in. Yeah. Put him. He's great. And you're like, all right, you know, he's little not different. as good as you're saying. <laughs> yeah, a little different at 200 miles an hour too. That's true. That's true. But it, it'll it, it, we'll see what happens. You know, the FA may just start finding the team. You know, maybe that'll make a difference too. And hopefully, I mean, I I hope something happens so that this doesn't happen. I mean, I want to find a race where he doesn't interrupt it at all or cause some kind of issue. I mean, the first race he did problems with FP1, and then he was off in turn one. So I was like, yeah, all right. Yeah, the race was much better once he was out in the first lap. <laughs> it was. <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see. And, you know, I, I want to say thanks for coming on. Um, I was worried, you know, when I was going to do the F1 show, it was just going to be me. So I appreciate you coming on. And, Absolutely. I love talking Formula 1. Yeah, me too. And, you know, I was also, I was also worried. Um, I remember watching qualifying back when I was a teenager watching F1. Um, and now that I'm going back into it, I used to hate qualifying. It was, I felt it was so boring, but... You know, now that I'm older, it's just, it's gut-wrenching, especially the way they do it. You know, three Q, three uh, qualifying things, you know, getting people knocked out. It's just, I, I find it so, so great. There's so much strategy oh, in it. It's, there's so much strategy and, uh, you know, it, like the anticipation of just watching these guys come around that final corner and then you're waiting just to see what time they have and you're just yeah. like, oh, come on, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? You know, and then... Uh, you know, and then to see them like move up and down that chart, it's it's exhilarating sometimes if you get into it, obviously. Yeah, is you know, is it purple? Is it green? You know, you gotta yeah see the color, and it's just it's great. I'm loving F1 this year, and really excited for the race. I'm, I'm probably not gonna be able to watch it tomorrow since it's Mother's Day, um, but you know, I'm gonna watch it, and you know, we'll do another show uh, for the next race. For sure, absolutely, I'm ready. All right, Evan, uh, thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. Um, and if you were crazy enough to watch this, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you. Have a good night.